What's happening YouTube? I'm so excited about what I'm going to share with you today because if you've ever been frustrated with wanting to change something on your checkout form, we're going to be talking about how to do that with WooCommerce and WordPress. You're going to be able to collect additional information that's critical for you to be able to do what you need to do in your business or on your website. The best part about it is that it's easy, it's simple, and takes less than five minutes. I'm Paul Klukey and I own my own digital agency and I love helping people like you be able to express yourselves online and become an online marketing gorilla in whatever corner of the web that you work in. Now let's get to it. Do you need to get additional information on the checkout page or somewhere in the sales process that you're not currently getting? This is the simplest way that I've found to do this. Otherwise, you have to be good at coding or know how to get into the files and make your own edits. While it does involve adding a plugin, this plugin is lightweight and they keep it up to date. Let's get right to it. Watch over the shoulder as I get into a WordPress website this website is from a friend of mine who owns her own business and she asked me to take a look. All right, so here we are at a, an example of a checkout page and you can see where people could put their first name, last name, some optional information and whatnot. But the issue that my friend Erin is dealing with here is that she said, Paul, I need to be able to know what size t-shirt they have so I can order it. I need to make sure that I know the participant's name, their age, and whether they participate, participated before. So how can we do that quickly and efficiently? There's a checkout uh, editor plugin that we can add to the site. So let's go over and do that. Let's go to plugins. And now we're going to look for that plugin. Checkout editor. For WooCommerce, don't have it, so let's add new. Check out. Perfect. So here it is. Install now. It's compatible with our version. Last updated three hours ago. So I feel really comfortable adding this to the site. I've added it to the site, and now I want to activate it. All right, so let's go ahead, check out field editor for WooCommerce. We're going to go jump over to settings. And here is exactly where we see all of the existing fields. So let's go ahead and add some new fields. We're going to go to billing. We're going to call this billing age. We're going to call it um, child's age. Placeholder would be like, do I have a tin? Uh, year, uh, you know, let's just say 10, they'll know what that is. Uh, we'll make it required, it's enabled, we'll display it in emails, display in order details page, perfect, so we'll be able to see all of that, and um, we'll hit save on that. Perfect, so now we should have our age, it's right here, we can move it up, so we'll put this... Um, I don't know, let's put this somewhere in here. Billing, that's address, city. Actually, maybe we don't want to do it. We'll put it, uh, yeah, this is fine. So child's age, that's the placeholder. And let me add the other ones and we'll take a look. All right, so all of the options have been saved and now we want to go check out our form. So let's take a peek at what others will see when they go to checkout. So here I am on a checkout page. They have billing details, they have all of the same information requested as before, but now we have these additional required areas, child's age, child's name, enter child's first and last name, participated with us before, these are the placeholder texts, and the t-shirt size, enter small, medium, large, extra large, etc. I hope this tutorial has helped you streamline your WooCommerce WordPress website I'm so glad that you decided to click on this video. I hope that it's helped you, just like it helped my friend Aaron. Sometimes when we're researching this stuff, we can spend hours and hours trying to figure out exactly how to do something that could have been done in less than five minutes. In this particular case, this plugin installs and activates within that short amount of time. I hope it was able to save you some time 
and I hope that you'll like this video, you'll subscribe if it helped you, and make sure to click on the alert bell so that you know the next time I publish new content. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.